Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Check it out, CarMax has some new cars to come and sell you. We're gonna talk about CarMax. We're gonna talk about the auto industry and actually a story that's going on with CarMax right now. But what I'm gonna do is while I, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, let you look at this. Auto inventory, almost every single space is taken up right now at CarMax. Now, you guys know I love CarMax. There's nothing like coming into a place that's never gonna negotiate with you on price. And, uh, <laughs> but the cool thing is they leave you alone. You can just walk around the cars and just check them out. As a matter of fact, once I left a CarMax because nobody would help me. I'm not joking. Like I tried and I tried again and nobody would help me. So uh, I just left. But all right guys, out of uh, Seeking Alpha right now, CarMax stock slips as Argus steps to the sidelines. It says right now, uh, CarMax Incorporated stock slipped on Tuesday after Argus Research downgraded the stock to hold from a buy. The downgrade was prompted by macroeconomic factors as well as valuation concerns. And it says further, the stock is, a technical, is in a technical down. Now think about that. A technical downtrend, so you have your technical analysis going on, and so the stock's showing that it's in a downtrend, but the fundamentals here for the auto industry are horrible because of inflation gripping the nation. The standard, the average person trying to buy a car right now can't afford the payment simply because everything else is getting expensive, let alone the interest rate on a new car, or sorry, in this case, a used car is so darn expensive people are halting their purchases. And if they are choosing to buy a car, they're choosing to buy a cheaper car. Look at all those Teslas in the background. All that there green energy. Boy, <laughs> unless, unless you're trying to charge them in a snowstorm, they're great. Point being is this, in my personal opinion, I'm, I don't think this is the time to buy. I think this is the time to halt the buying and wait for better deals. Now, do I wanna buy a car? Absolutely, as a matter of fact, I wanna go test drive a Corvette right now. I don't even know if they have one. But I think that if, if you think about it, as more and more of these cars hit the market, and CarMax was no, notorious for pay, overpaying for vehicles. As a matter of fact, I got a car with the paint falling off right now. I wanna, I wanna actually go in there and ask them how much they're gonna give me for my car, but I wouldn't have a way to get back from Las Vegas. These car companies like Carvana, they are going bankrupt. They're losing. And ironically, that will not translate to lower, much lower prices on this lot. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a story. There was a time that I wanted to buy a Kia, but I wanted to get the best price possible. And there were two Kias turned into my local dealer. I went in to check them out and they said, no, we're wholesaling them. I said, well, how about you sell it to me? And they said, no, we're gonna wholesale them. We're not gonna take on the liability. I'm like, liability of what? I looked around these cars, they're immaculate. As a matter of fact, one of the salesmen came to me and said, that, one, that was my car, that was my lease. And the, the guy in charge of financing there said, we don't even want, you know, we don't even want to do all the hassle of doing the, all the inspections and all that kind of stuff. But they sold it to the secondary market much cheaper, much less than they could have went through the car, done the safety inspections and everything. I mean, we're talking about a car that had like 30,000 miles on it, right? 25,000, it was not much. And then they could have sold it to me. I would have gotten a great deal and they would have made more money. But sometimes, and please put it down in the comment section if you're a dealer or a salesperson, how this works. But they said, no, we don't, we don't even want to deal with it. We're just going to wholesale it. We're going to wholesale that car. Well, it's the same situation for CarMax. You see, they're not going to want to be known as slashing their prices. As a matter of fact, CarMax, I have a feeling, prides themselves on not dealing. You cannot go into a dealership and go, ah, it's a $40,000 car, I'll give you thirty-five. dollars There's no dealing here. When I first started going into CarMax's and checking out their inventory, they were like, we do not negotiate on price. And I have a feeling that's gonna bite them in the butt. But because they have shareholders and stuff, they can literally sell these on the wholesale market to free up cash Sorry, I got the, uh, the shadow of the camera in here. To free up cash, to go to the wholesale market, but then they're gonna take a bigger write down. I think that is going to set, uh, spell tragedy for this auto uh, sales company. CarMax, you should like really lower the prices and sell some to the Ninja. I want a Corvette C8. I want the Z06 though. Um, I need a, uh, 
Lamborghini, a Ferrari, 69 Camaro, oh, and a Shelby Cobra. So if you have any of those, I see some Porsches. I wouldn't mind a Porsche 911 Turbo. I want that too. Guys, put in the comment section what cars you want. But as of right now, that's my list. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good start. The Ninja likes cars, but I don't like overpaying for them. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. Let's see what happens to CarMax in the next uh, 90 days, and we'll revisit this issue. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.